Welcome to a tutorial on Twine. In this video, I'm going to cover the passage header passage as part of Sugarcube 2.36. So often we find ourselves in situations where we want content to reoccur multiple times. Now we can copy and paste that across multiple passages, but there are special passages within Sugarcube that have unique meaning that we can use for the same purpose. One of these is named passage header. And as we might guess from the name, occurs as the header for all passages once it exists. So in this example, I have two passages connected right here, example one, example two, and I have a third passage named passage header. So as might be guessed from the name of this passage, this passage will be run before all other passages. For example one and example two, notice I've added a little extra space here, and this will come important here in just a moment. Of course, this has a space as well. And if I build and play this story, we will start here, but the content of this passage as the passage header will appear before example one and before example two. So build and play shows us this right here as the passage header and the specially named passage. So if I go example one, example two, I always have this right up here. So if we ever want content to reoccur across an entire story for every single passage, there's a special passage for that called Passage Header, capital P, capital H. And this right here has special meaning to Sugarcube and is among a number of different special passages that Sugarcube supports for different functionality. So if we want the same content to appear as the header or on top of all other content for every passage, Passage Header will let us do it. If it exists, capital P, capital H, passage header, Sugarcube will treat it as the header of every passage within Sugarcube 2.36. Thanks for watching.